Hi, today we're going to talk about aubergines and I'll show you two great ways of using them. So an aubergine, member of the nightshade family, is actually a berry. Native to India, apparently you can still find them growing wild. They're full of dietary fiber, full of vitamins. You can eat them raw. They're pretty spongy, so they're much better cooked. When you are choosing your aubergine, sort of a medium size, uh, quite a young, it feels really full, if you know what I mean. The skin's super shiny, it feels really nice and ripe. Uh, when they get a bit bigger, the skin can get pretty leathery, and then that will start tasting bitter. So an aubergine this size, leave the skin on, perfectly edible and really tasty. So I'm going to show you two recipes. The first one is an aubergine crisp, and the second one is a baba ganoush, which is a dip made out of roasted aubergines. So the first thing you want to do with your aubergine is take a sharp knife and cut even-sized discs. If they're not even, then they won't cook properly. Some will burn and some will be raw in the middle. Try your hardest to cut all the way through and get whole discs, because little half ones will look a bit scraggy, and the insides will kind of burn and fall out unless you get them nice and round. Once you've got your aubergine discs, what you want to do is salt them. This is really important because the aubergine, there's a lot of moisture in there. And if you put something wet in the oven, it's not going to crisp up, it's just going to go soggy. So what you want to do, lay them out on a tray and then sprinkle with salt. And what the salt will do is it will draw the moisture out. Don't worry about the salt because we're going to rub it off with a bit of kitchen towel. Uh, and then we'll have a nice dry aubergine ready to crisp up nicely in the oven. Probably about 20 minutes to half an hour, you want to leave them with the salt before you wipe the moisture off. For the baba ganoush, we want to put the aubergines under a really hot grill. We need to prick them first so they don't explode, and we want the outsides to really burn and cremate, which will leave the insides nice and gooey that we can later scoop out. So to make the coating for the crisps, you want to combine some grated cheese, um, some olive oil, and some Italian season or oregano. Uh, so add the olive oil into the bowl. Be quite generous, because we're going to coat the aubergines pretty thoroughly. And a good pinch of oregano and a twist of black pepper as well. And once you've done that, give it a nice mix with a spoon until it goes to a nice oily paste. Oh yeah, look at that. Once the aubergines have been under the grill for between 15 and 20 minutes, you'll know they're done because the skins will have burnt and gone all crispy. And the insides, if you give them a squeeze, will be completely juicy and uh, really squidgy. So when we cut them open, we'll be able to scoop out the insides really easy. To scoop out the insides, you want to take your knife and run it down the length of the aubergine. Be careful, if you haven't let them cool down, they will be really hot on the inside, so you don't want to burn your hands. And then you take them to your bowl. Don't worry too much if you get a bit of skin in there, because it's, it's not a big deal at the end of the day. Just scoop out the aubergine into your bowl. We'll give it a nice squish with a spoon. Perfect. You see how easily it comes out? It's all gooey and cooked and lovely. Once you've given it a little squish with a spoon, stir through a good spoonful of tahini, and that'll give it sort of a creamy, almost bitter, like a nice earthy taste. Once that's nicely mixed in, simple, squeeze a lemon, probably about half a lemon. Use any herbs, coriander, parsley. We're going to use some fennel tops because we've got some. Uh, chop them up nice and small and get them through. So after about 20 to 30 minutes, the aubergines, there'll be a lot of moisture on the surface. So you want to take some kitchen towel and really wipe it off. Give them a good squeeze too with the kitchen towel, because the drier the aubergine, the more crispy and satisfying the crisps will be. So once you've dried your aubergine, what you want to do, get your cheese mixture, get the aubergine in there, and then get your hands dirty, give them a real mix, so that they're all evenly coated in the nice cheese, oily, herby mixture. Once they're all coated and you're happy that there are no dry patches whatsoever, what you want to do is then line them out in a baking tray. Make sure they're not overlapping because we want them to cook nice and evenly. And then once they're all lined out, you want to put them in the oven. So temperature-wise, probably about 180 degrees. And you've got to keep your eye on them. They'll take about 10 to 12 minutes, but they will burn quite quickly. So it's not something you want to just leave. It's definitely something you want to watch and keep your eye on. So you know they're done when they've gone nice and crispy like this. Uh, they've gone brown, but not too brown. So now we're ready to plate them up. So just get a plate, arrange them up in a nice loose pile, and then get your baba ganoush and just give it a big dollop on. Perfect, and then a little sprinkle of fresh herbs. And there you go. So thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that. If there's any vegetable you'd like to see us prepare, cook, or talk about, then leave us a comment below. 
Give us a like, give us a share, hit the notification bell to stay tuned for weekly videos.